Hello, my name is Adolfo, and this is Life of Adolfo. I'm going to make a quick video on the test. And what's the difference between now and four years ago when I first took the test? I was a prior CCA. If you watched my previous videos, I quit it. I was CCA four years ago. I came back this year, and I noticed that the test is different. When I took the test, and well... After I took the test and I went to orientation, I asked about three to four CCAs, how was the test? And they replied, it was the same test I took. Because at, at the beginning, I assumed that they gave me a different test because I was a prior CCA. But no, the, the test has changed. So I'm going to explain to you what it used to be, what it is, and my assumptions on why the test is now the way it is. And the reason I'm making this assumption is because when I went to orientation, when I went to CC Academy, and when I went to my shadow day and my two orientation, or, um, I, don't, I don't know what they're called. So basically, they give you three days of practice or follow someone or them following you while you're doing a route so they could like, so you could feel comfortable. So when they let you do it by yourself in the uh, station. So first, how was the test before? I would go to a place. There's like eight or ten people I remember that day. And uh, one of them was doing some nail, nail. I believe it was nails, a test for nails. One of them was doing the female uh, haircuts, I believe salon, manic, not manicure, salon or haircut. I don't know what it's called. I was there for the post office. So we go take our IDs, they got to verify as us, me. Then I go to the computer place. When I go to the computer place, I believe there was like around 50 questions. Of course, there's 10 of a certain time, 20 of a certain type, and 10 of another one, and so on. I took that test. Once I was done, I go back to the lady, and she told me I'm going to receive a text or a phone call on my test score. Once I left that building, probably like 10 minutes later, they sent me a message and they said that I scored an 88. With a, with a five-point preference of the military, I scored a 93 combined. Because with a five-point preference, they add the 88 plus 8 equals 93. So after that, I followed the process to become a CCA. And then I went to my station. I did everything afterwards. The academy, the orientation, everything else is the same. The same. Uh, move forward. Uh, move forward to now. One of my friends told me that the test wasn't the, the same because he used to be, I believe, uh, a CCA or RCA, then a janitor. He moved. He's an RCA, and so on. So I took the test, and like I told you, I already told uh, three to four CCAs if it was the same taste they, they took because I wanted them to tell me and they say yes. So I took this test. I didn't have to go somewhere. I took it on the computer. I assume I took it on the computer because of COVID or maybe they, they started doing this on, on the computer instead of going to a certain place because of COVID. The first 10 questions were, there was a, a, a question with four answers. They, all the questions required for you to decide if it's the, what's the, the most, what would you do and what's the, the least thing that you will do. So it's basically, you move the question that you mostly will do, and I'll give you an example, to the left. This one, you move it to the right, and that's it. So I'll give you an example. A customer wants to talk to your postmaster of a package. What is the most common that you would do? What's the least common? You answer that question and move on. Like I said, it's like around 10 questions. The other 20 questions is, I don't want to say it's like personality, but it's more, you could say personality or the type of workload or work that you desire to do. For example, we'll say that the question is, do you like to uh, work in a fast pace or slow pace? environment it for me i already know how the post office is 
So I picked the opposite. I said slow pace. Do you like stressful or non-stressful? I picked non-stressful. But I still got the job. Now, after I finished the, the, it's called the assessment now instead of a test. I did not get uh, a final answer like I told you on the previous four years ago that they text me that I scored an 88. Now, they don't give you a test score. So, with that being said, I don't feel like it's a test. Now, the other four or five things that they do, they did them in the past. They do a background check. What's your uh, previous jobs? Uh, three people that they, they want to contact and so on. So my assumption is that now what they do is they look at your background check, you, they, your contacts. I'm not sure if they call my contacts. Your past history of jobs and, and so on. And then they determine if you qualify. Because like I said, they don't give you your final, your final uh, score. Now, why do I think they did it like this? First, because of COVID. Second, and this sounded redundant. They they told me on uh, on orientation, on CCA Academy, and in my station. People keep on quitting. And they're trying to retain people. And and a couple of things, and I know I'm gonna jump out of the test. A couple things that they're doing at my station, and I notice it is that the first month they don't they don't put you to work on Saturday Sunday unless you ask for. Second, they try to this is according because I'm still in my second day. They they try to give you like half a route and so on for the first month. Not for the first month, but they keep on adding until you are established and you feel comfortable and before what they used to do is you're working on Sundays you're working on on almost every day maybe I want to say one out of 10 13 days you're off and also you're working a lot of hours that's the difference like when I first started probably by day after the uh, what do you call it the shadow day and three other days Probably one extra day. Next thing you know, I'm casing, and I'm doing a route. That was the that's the difference between before and now. I feel like they're trying to establish so people don't quit a lot. However, I am in a walking route, so I do expect people to quit because it's gonna be a shock. Like I know I'm talking about the test, but I want to prepare people mentally. I know there's mounted routes and there's walking routes and there's some stations that probably are mounted all of them i'm not sure but i finally realized that there's stations of all walk yes you drive your vehicle to a certain place and then you do then you do your walking so if you're looking at this to take the test and you're wondering how it is i got an all walking route station I'm averaging about 11 or 12 miles a day. So that's just for you to realize how much it is. Yesterday, when I went to sleep, I went to sleep early because I wanted to get a lot of hours of sleep. I woke up at my six hours of sleep uh, and I said, man, I don't know if I could handle this. I'm four years older. I know it's just going to be walking. I went to back. I went back to sleep. Woke up after four hours later, 10 hours all combined, and I felt good. And I realized that, I said, you know what? I cannot quit. I cannot tap out. And the reason I said that is because I know once I see the first paycheck, it's going to motivate me for at least two days to not quit. The second thing is you have to motivate yourself to keep on working. And... As soon as I went to the station and I started walking, I didn't feel tired. Like in my shadow day, after I finished, I could feel my feet pressing. Like like each time I stepped, it was like pressing because I was so tired and my feet were tired. My first day of, um, of the training, because they give you three. My first day, 
I didn't. I, I I I was feeling. I was running out of gas by the by the uh, last hour or last hour and a half of my route. I I wanted to say loops, but you you guys will not understand what a loop is. Basically, you, you walk and you go to your 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 hour and you, then you go do another loop. Uh, today, I didn't feel tired. As a matter of fact, right now, I'm already five hours after I got off and I'm still not tired. And I think it's like if you keep on doing it and keep on doing it, you get less tired every time. And that's what I'm basically saying right now because I know some, some of you and I know I wanted to talk about the test only. Some of you are going to say it's not for me. But if you keep on doing it and you keep on finding motivation step by step, you're going you're gonna to motivate yourself to, to finally, like I'm not going to say finally, but you're going you're gonna to get motivated until your body is adapted to it. That's what I'm basically saying. Like, for example, my first motivation is finish CCA cat. Well, finish my orientation. Then finish my C CCA Academy. Now finish my training days. We get a pay raise in a, in a week. Uh, motiv no, motivate myself to get my pay until Friday for my paycheck. Then motivate myself for the uh, pay raise. After that, motivate myself for 60 days where I could bid for routes. Then motivate myself... 90 days for probation. And that's the way I'm doing it, little by little, until I get what I basically become a city carrier. So, sorry for, I, I wanted to make this a test, but I also want to make it so people don't tap out and quit without trying to accomplish or trying to see if their body adapts to it. Okay, thank you. Once again, bye.